Hey, welcome to Glen Hayes Backyard today. It is the, oh man, what is the date? It is a Wednesday, so is it the 29th? I think it's the 29th. Thursday be the 30th. Yeah, Friday be the 31st. 29th December. Man, I hope everybody's had a great Christmas out there. Hope everybody got to spend time with their family. And, uh, and I know there's a lot of people out there that's, Christmas is rough, and, uh, you know, sometimes it's difficult to get through with uh, things that goes on for our lives, but, but don't, don't forget what the true meaning of Christmas is. That's the main thing, and uh, so, you know, as long as the, just remember the Lord and remember what God done for us on that day and gave us a gift so we can have a, the best gift anybody can give, it's salvation, but anyways, we are here today and we're doing some routine maintenance stuff i guess it's a beautiful day out here in west virginia man it's pushing 70 degrees hard to believe but kind of do some maintenance stuff uh in the middle of winter type deals you know i mean so one thing i want to talk about is this right here today this product uh i talked about on a video before and it is a battery charger and uh, a battery tender, I'm sorry about that, a battery tender, and um, this right here, I, I think I bought it at uh, Walmart, and or Tractor Supply One, one of them places, and this right here, the reason why I bought it, my side-by-side. -side. So I'm gonna show you what a good thing that this did, and it's got some cool gadgets, and uh, let's walk out here to where the side-by-side's at. But charging it up, putting up hunting clothes, deer season's over with, which bow season runs out Friday and don't look like we're going to go back bow hunting anymore. So the count was this year, uh, Bub got that eight point that we put on there. Uh, him and I missed a huge one. He did, he missed a huge one. I could have shot a smaller eight one evening, me and a buddy of mine went and we walked, as we was walking in, it was right there at the feeder. I was out in the bottom of ways, and I could have just stood up, popped it. But, you know, I don't know. At the time, it was a smaller deer, and uh, so I didn't want to – at the time, I didn't want to waste a tag on it, to tell you the truth. Had some great deer on film, but what I know now, I should have popped it because he was the last buck that I seen in daylight. But anyways, it's over with. We're putting up some stuff today. We're going to work on a gutter. Uh, we're going to clean a gutter out, and uh, look at this weather, man. I mean, this is West Virginia, and I know there's snow at Snowshoe right now, and it can name both, and I bet you they're having a ball at, at uh, Winter Place because they make snow. So, you know, today, I mean, you could ski in a T-shirt. That awesome. Uh, but anyways, we're here, and like I said, look at that sun, man. It is just beautiful out here. And I'm walking around in a t-shirt, and uh, it feels good. But uh, God's been good to us. But anyways, we are, I'm going to show you back here in the shed. This is our lean tune. I don't know if I've showed you guys this. We built this on. We built the main garage. I'll give you a little background. Man, these pole barns is the way to go. I mean, you want a, a quick garage space, and you need it in a hurry, pole barn, man. I mean... We built the main building uh, probably 2015, I think, might have been. 2015, 2016, we built the main building. Um, not this past summer, but the summer before, uh, two summers ago, we built the lean team. And, you know, we added on, I think it was about 12 feet behind here. Big enough for a garage door. It's a 10-foot door. And we put a garage door on each end. It started out to be, it first started out half of it. I was going to, it was going to be a lean tune. And I was going to put half of it boxed in because I needed extra space to put my side beside my son's four wheeler, stuff like that. And the more my dad thought about it, he, he was going to just do a carport on this end of it. And he was going to stack his firewood, which is right there, covered up. Uh, just it's leftover wood. My dad don't burn wood anymore just in case of emergency. He's got a propane gas heater in the basement now 
they don't burn it, but it's there. We use it during camping season. We take it with us, and a lot of people come and get off of it. Uh, some family members, they camp. They stop by and get a, about 15 sticks at a time, maybe. But anyways, he was going to put that wood in here as a porch. And then after he seen what I was going to do, and he said, well, you know what? I'm going to box mine in, too. So we just boxed all of it. It turned out to be 12 by 54 feet. And it's got an identical door just like this on the other end, which I'll show you. But listen, you got stuff you want to put up out of the weather. Quickest way to build one. All we done. We didn't put uh, gravel. I mean, concrete in this one. I'm sorry. We put a gravel floor in here. And so I just went down to... Uh, uh, if you ever need gravel, Buck Spears does a great job. I'll bring it right to you. But I bought this off of Buck Spears, the gravel down there. And uh, and a friend of mine from work let me have his tilt trailer, his dump trailer. So Buck Spears, he's, uh, he's a local guy in our area. If you need gravel, he does a great deal for you, and he'll even bring it to you. And they've always been good to us. So anyways, we got this off of him. We filled all this up. We built this up with some rock right here. To make it level and then put this little pad here just to where you're bringing stuff in and out of the here where it wouldn't make muddy the goal was to make gravel go all the way to the road but we didn't make it so we kind of quit on it and i'm bad for that i get halfway into it and i get tired of it and i quit but gravel's good and but in here this is what we ended up with i put some lights in here got some receptacles on the wall here to charge stuff up but anyways, what this whole thing was about, and we'll get to it, which I know I'm a stutter. This tender, man, it's done awesome. This battery in my side by side was total dead. I mean, when I come in here and we we used it hunting, and, and really this is about all I use it for, to tell you the truth. One day I like to upgrade my side by side. This is an 09 model, and it's got a rebuilt motor. And uh but I'm still working some bugs out of it every now and then. I think I got a little bit of a belt issue. I get in a real bind, it slips. One day, oh, I might sell it. I don't know if anybody will buy it off of me. But it's still, it does good. I mean, it runs good. Uh, not had no issues with the motor. Every now and then it goes into limp mode. But I think that was my fault the last time it did it because I kind of parked it on a hill, pointed downward for a long time, and got on it, took off, and it went into limp mode. So, but I think it's got a few bugs. I mean, heck, the whole motor was ripped out of it, rebuilt, but it runs good. And, it, and it's strong. It runs real good and strong. I, the guy put kind of a more um, beefier parts in it, you might say. I'm not much of a great inside of a, of a machine, of the engine building part, but he beefed it up a little bit. And it, it does have a little bit more torque, feels like. And it does good. Does what I need it to right now, but... In a couple of years, to get a few things paid off, that's on my list. I want a, I want a Polaris General, and it's on my list to where I can go on some longer rides. I don't trust it, this right here right now. I don't want to get out somewhere and have to tow it back. But anyways, what I use it for, it's great. We put the new winch on it. The winch was bad. Put the winch on it. It does great. And uh, doing a few little minor upgrades to it. I ain't touched this thing in a long time. Back when I bought this thing, back in 09, this machine, they was not, they wasn't all this stuff, what people's doing to them now, all this extra stuff. I mean, it was, it was this one and the Razor just came out and it was the Polaris Ranger, I think it was out. So back in 09, you can go back and look in history of it. There wasn't a lot of options on side by sides. When I bought this, I seen a Razor from the distance. I thought maybe I'll buy one of them, but this is what my wife liked at the time. And she always told me I can sell anything in the garage except this. She loves it. But I got to sell her on the general though. <laughs> but anyways, here it is. Right here. This is the, the tender, okay? And all I did, I, I plugged it up, and this thing was completely dead. The only thing that it would do, it would just go, the battery thing. It just sit there and click. So the battery was shot. It was completely gone. So I come in here, and they, they give you these tips. Now, you can do it either two ways. I just done the, the regular battery things on mine. I thought about wiring. They got the little clip, and you just snap it in and leave it. But 
my machine here, I've done a lot of wiring because I added a lot of stuff on mine that didn't come on. Lights and radio in it and all this. So I had to do a lot of wiring down in here. So I didn't want to get in into that again and get something off. Okay, so here we go. I got the tender over here. All right. And oh, I unplugged it earlier, but this is what this is the tender. All right. And it is a, it just says battery tender junior. And Dell uh Dell Ran, maybe, is the company's name. But it does an awesome job. I don't know if I had that on there or not. Does an awesome job, all right? So like I said, it was plugged up. Green light showing, all right? Now it's showing red. Probably going through a cycle, but I'm going to unplug it back. And right here's what I had. I had these clips were on here, okay? And I left them on it. It also has a clip that you can wire into it, but I didn't want to do that because... I've done a lot of wiring on this thing over the years. I've got, sorry about the zooming problem. I put it on a radio. I've got a winch. I got all my lights on it here. I've got a, a light on the back of it for when I back up. And of course I got these. I know you guys were laughing at these ATV and UTV guys, but listen, back in 09, that was the bomb, baby. Now they got LED light bars. Didn't have that back whenever I done it. Made my top. <coughs> I made it, didn't buy it, I made it. I made my top. Yeah, they, uh, there's a company that wanted, uh, I think they won like $400 to $500 for a top back then. So I got me a piece of metal, heated it, rolled it down, bolted it on, turned out good. So I made the top, I made my brackets for the speakers and mounted the speakers in there. So that's my radio. And then had, got, had my windshield, that, that was the aftermarket windshield at the time. Top come up on the front of it, turned out nice. Listen, well that, this baby was the hit ride at one time, back in 09. I got the regular truck tires on it. Uh, it's got regular street tires on and off the trails here a lot, black top and everything. But listen, them right there, been on there since probably 2010. And look at them, that's how much, where this is a truck tire and there's no weight on that thing, son, the tires are dry rod out for it run. But anyways, this started up and this is after it been on for six days. Now it's completely dead. Like I said, it went, T -t 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 -t. that's all it would do. Fuel pumps coming on. Wow. Yeah, man. Does a good job. I'm going to plug it right back up. I'm right. Whenever I get done here, a couple more days, I'm going to keep charging. I'm going to put it on the boy's four-wheeler here. He's got a 250. It's a 250. Uh, that's a TRX, I think. And uh, I had the 250X back in the day. And, man, it was just, it was awesome. You know what I mean? But now this don't have a kickstart on it. But now it's electric start, but don't have the kickstart. So you get in a bind, it's, you're stuck. But uh, it's a good bike, good four-wheeler. He loves and enjoys it. And uh, then right here, talking about tandem batteries, golf cart. We take it camping all the time. Listen, these things right here can give a man a hassle. Can give you a hassle. But look, this right here is a great golf cart. It's a 2012 club cart. Now, all this is newer the golf cart was on a, a guy in Ohio, in Ironton, Ohio, and I can't think of his name, but I'm going to get it. I'll mention, mention to him in another video. He's got a shop out there. It might, is it, it, I'm thinking, is it Joe's Golf Cart? Something like that. I can't remember. But anyways, he's in Ironton, Ohio. Look on Facebook, Ironton Golf Carts. He'll pop up probably. That He's got a deal with somewhere up in Michigan. He gets golf carts from a golf course, and that was a 2012 model golf cart. It looked like a golf cart that would be at the golf course, all right? So what we had done, we had the wheels, the 14-inch wheels put on it. It's got a lift on it. Uh, we put the back seat on it, the bench seat. And we love this thing camping. I'm trying to figure out, I've got a video coming out, and you guys are going to love it. We went to Beach Fork. We was on this golf cart. My buddy had one of them fake dog leashes. 
looked like a ghost dog, and we just walk through the campground, act like a bunch of crazy hillbillies like we are, and people was looking at us like we was from Mars, and it's awesome. We're going. I'm trying to get it from the GoPro to the phone, put that video out there. You guys are going to love it. It was hilarious. Some of the kids and my buddy was goofing off with it. But anyways, back seat works great when you're camping. The top, he painted the top, so he, you know, what he did was he raised it, put the wheels and tires on it, the bench seat in the back, and painted the thing for us. Does a phenomenal job. So he does a great deal. He'll work with you. These are certain packages. If you don't want the back seat, you don't have to have it. If you don't want it raised, you don't have to have it. He'll fix it to your liking, and he does a great job. So anyways, what I was wanting to talk about was these batteries. So like I said, what I want to do, I want to talk about I want to talk about these batteries real quick for people out there. They've got uh, golf carts, and they in the winter time you need to you need to charge this thing up. You need to charge this thing up about uh, once a month, every three or four weeks, where it's so cold out. Batteries life, my hands right in the way. Apologize for that. The batteries in these don't work good in the winter time, so you got to charge them at least once a month. Get out there. Stick it on charge, and the life of your golf cart will be better. So these batteries here, there's six of them, all right? And I think they're eight volts because this is a 48-volt cart. So there's six of them. Now, listen, all right? These batteries are in series, okay? Problem I, problem I ran into one day, problem I ran into one day, these batteries, I went to charge it, put the charge in, Nothing dead. It would, the charger wouldn't kick on. Thought I had a charging issue. So I went, checked out a few videos. Luckily, where I'm an electrician, I got a little bit of background on this. I figured it out is simple fix. What had happened on mine, one of the batteries here, these batteries, they get so low, they get down so low to where, like, best way I can describe it, they'll get out of circuit, okay? So, like, the, like a charging system like this. See, it's got to read all through these batteries before the charger kicks on. Well, if you've got one battery that's the, the level is low enough to where it won't recognize it, it won't charge. So what I had to do, I had to, I had to disconnect my leads, okay? Take the ones off where they wasn't in series no more. And actually what I've done, I've done two at a time. So I would check it and I would have what it would be the voice for two batteries, you know, that's what the meter was reading. So I found the battery that was low, it was dead, all right? So what I done, I disconnected it, and I put on a battery charger, a good one, charged that thing up full, hooked it all back up, boom, charger kicked on. So listen, that's a little tip for you. People that's campers, got golf carts, a lot of people will take it back to the mechanic, he's gonna charge you big money, or he'll say you gotta replace all your batteries when you don't have to, you got one battery, it's the issue and the problem. So just wanted to throw out in this video today about the golf cart, because I know I got a lot of friends out there with golf carts, and I got a lot of people I run into that's uh, camping in the camping world of it, and you got these golf carts, and, and you, you think you got an issue with them, and it's just a minor issue. But I just want to throw it out there to people that's got these golf carts, because I got people and friend, family and friends that's in the camping uh, end of things here, and they all have campers and golf carts, and I just want to throw that out there because what can, you might think is a serious issue, it's a simple fix. So listen, we're going to go over to the house now, and I got one more little project that we're going to call today. Got the stuff done, the maintenance over in the shop, getting them batteries charged up. And I put some hunting clothes away and some feeders away, and I didn't think y'all want to see that, so I didn't put that on here, but... Now I'm heading over here to the last little project of the day, hopefully, and uh, I'm a wanting to clean this gutter. We built this porch. Uh, it's been, I guess it's probably two summers ago we done that. Got this porch added on the, to the uh, side of the garage here, and it ended up being a nice little area. And we're right here on the river or you can look out the river and I got me a TV bracket up here. I will I hang my TV up here out here some nights and we will watch TV and hang out. Got a table here and we cook out and so it's a nice little area. We got to finish this roof. We've been been two years and we ain't finished that. So hopefully 
prices will come down and we'll put us a bottom on this right here. But, but uh, what I was going to do, I was going to show you guys what I got going on here. So uh, hopefully I got the right tip. I got my tip, I got my drill, and I'm going to get up on this roof. So if I fall, comp, workers comp, you got me right here. I'm, I'm climbing up a ladder. All right, we're up here. Oh, got up here. And this is what we got going on. Oh, them right there. Number one, I hate trees around a house. I'd rather have every tree down that's close to the house. The only thing this does right here, it's a nuisance. We get pine needles all over this roof. My mom and dad's house, it's got the green on it and everything. Well, it comes from these trees. And now this is the next issue we got. Now, we put these caps on, all right, you can see, put these caps on, and, but what's happened, this here is filled clean full of pine needles. I don't know if y'all can see them in there. So, what I'm gonna do, I am gonna get, get that out of there and I'm gonna try cleaning this gutter out a little bit because we had a hard rain last night. And as you can see, we've got a gutter system on it. Gutter goes down and it hits a pipe, which is that pipe right there. Right there. That's my mom's. That's their stuff that comes out of there. So, uh, we are, uh, we are, uh, I don't want them pine needles to get going. I had something come across my phone. That's why I look a little, I was like cross-eyed looking there. But I don't want them pine needles to go down there and get that stopped up. So, let's see if this fits. I might have to go get another tip. Hopefully, this is it. Eureka, it's the right tip. So, there's that one. Whoop. I need my GoPro with me, it's hard to hold it. As you can see, we, we got a tipper to hold that. To hold it. So I'm gonna try to, my dad, secure them down. That slides under. That pulls out, and you can see what's happened. That mesh, it's failed. So, I'm gonna take this one off now. As you can see, I'm a little bit high up right here. And believe it or not, after a bad injury, about three years ago, you think I'd be afraid of heights, but I'm not. I fell off a ladder about three winters ago. Broke both wrists. Them scars you see on both arms. Had surgery on both wrists. But they recovered well. So now you can see what's happened. The mesh has come off of it. And that's what I got. So luckily it's not been going down in there. But I'm going to have to clean all this out, so. And I'm going to need two hands. So I'm going to clean this out, get the mesh off of it, and I'll get back with you, finished product. All right. I got all that cleaned out. And I went down there and hosed off the screens, got most of it out. I brought me a bucket of water, and we're going to flush that gutter out, too, while we're here. I'm gonna pour that water in up on this end, let it travel down the gutter, and hopefully it'll wash a lot of it out. But I'm gonna, this is probably one of my favorite tools on our little homestead we own here. I'm gonna try to start this thing, let's see. <laughs> I got lucky. Uh-oh. These things, they're great machines, but man, they're, they're, they are uh, cold starting. Sorry about that. I messed that completely up. So I blow the top off. As you can see, that gutter is pretty well. That 
gutter's in good shape now. It was caked earlier. Usually about this time after your leaves have fallen and stuff, person needs to really examine your home and check your gutters out because your gutters, you know, save your house and uh, keeps the water from going up underneath your soffit and stuff, you know. I mean, them, them gutters can fill up and they just start draining and that water will run. So you want to try to keep them, you know, cleaned out and uh and that's why we fight leaves here all year so our leaf is pretty well done now here so we're going to be good but i'm going to try it's going to be hard to pick this bucket of water up here but i'm just going to try to really dump it on the roof here and see if it'll run and see if we can watch it here i'm going to just dump it and let it run in the gutter hopefully a lot of it will Wash that gutter out. Let it run, it's gonna run down that way. I'm trying to be easy with my water to where I don't, this is about the easiest way I knew how to dump it and not where I've got one hand here. So we'll let that go now. Let's see how she's doing. Water's running and it's a washing her out good. Got one little stick there. There we go. Now, I have no worries of all them pine needles stopping my gutter up now. So now, we got the gutter cleaned out. Gutter's cleaned out good. There's no worries of the needles being in there. So now we gotta put our covers back on. So I got four screws that he had put in there. I got four screws. There's my things. So now, I'm gonna try to match my holes up where they were. So here we are. I know I had the small one was in the middle. It just rode there. And looks like that might be, possibly could be that in, maybe. And I've got one hole here. So right there. So this is where they were. Looks like the lip, I've got to turn it over. And that, ah, he had them, he had them in there wrong. That's why they wasn't clipped there. He turned, he had them turned, I think. Let's see how this one hits. That's supposed to go like that. And that one's hitting right. But now this one was in wrong. All right, so we're gonna put them on and I'll uh, zip them back on there and I'll show you the finished work here today. Line us up. Well, looks like that's about our projects today. I got, look at that gutter. A lot better, a lot better. Now, now I won't have to worry about that stopping that up. But there's one thing about it. I'm a hoping them bad boys right there they're gonna be coming out here about February or March. If I can talk mom into it. Because she thinks they keep shade on the house, but man, they're a nemesis. They just constant work around you. You constantly got to pick up pine needles, blow pine needles, pick up limbs. They're a dirty, nasty tree and uh, I definitely get them out there. But anyways, we got, I got a few little extra things to do today and I'm not going to record them, but I got a few little honeydew jobs here. I'm going to have to get my wife's. We, I bought her a heated desk chair where she works. It's got heat and massage in it. So I'm going to have to run up to school and got a few little tidy up things here to do real quick. And we're going to try to get up on the creek today and, and uh, see her mom and dad a little bit, visit with them, see how they're doing this week. And so that's about it here at Backyard Glen Hayes. This is a full afternoon of tinkering around the little combine here. So listen, be safe, have a, have a happy new year. Don't know if we'll get another video out. I'm hope we're going to Malibu Jacks 
tomorrow. I don't know if you guys got them in your local town, but I may do a video there tomorrow. I may put it out, see what how what people think, do a little review on it. But it's supposed to have everything in there, go-karts, uh, putt-putt, arcade, laser, some kind of laser thing, and a few little rides, good for kids. So a bunch of us going down and watch, uh, watch a movie tomorrow evening, and we're going to stop in there and check that place out. But might do, uh, do a video on it. So listen, if I don't see you before the new year, happy new year. Be safe out there no matter what you're doing, and may God bless. We'll see you here later on Glen Hayes Backyard. Later, guys.